The MGM graduate program is a true umbrella program. It spans broader than just the confines of the primary faculty in the department. I'm Joe Heitman. I'm James B. Duke Professor and Chair of the Department of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology. We really have three missions. One is to teach and mentor. The other is to train. Third is to conduct the best science we can conduct. In the clinical departments, they have a fourth mission, which is patient care. We have world-class faculty working on bacterial pathogens and viral pathogens, faculty working on parasites, fungi, the host pathogen interface. And then in the area of genetics, it spans all the way from bacterial genetics and yeast and fungal genetics to model systems. Many, many opportunities for the students and fellows in the department to participate in any area of microbiology or genetics. We have a very robust graduate program and we're having a transition now from the current director of the graduate program, Mika Luftig. David Tobin will be the new director of the graduate program. He uses zebrafish as his model system and he's studying tuberculosis, mycobacterial infections. We have 23 primary faculty, but we also have 39 secondary faculty from many other departments and disciplines that are related to the mission of MGM. And so the primary and the secondary faculty are the training faculty for the students. And that includes many faculty that are in clinical departments, the Department of Medicine, Department of Pediatrics, the Department of Surgery. So there are many additional opportunities that become available. We have an annual departmental retreat that's held at the Blockade Runner Resort in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Every September we go to the beach for two days and a showcase is the science that the students and the fellows are doing. There's a poster session on Friday evening and a poster session on Saturday evening and more than two-thirds of the talks that are given at the retreat are graduate students and postdocs. We invite a few guests to the retreat. This year, Arturo Casadaval, who's the chair of microbiology and immunology at Johns Hopkins University, is coming. So another opportunity for the students to interact with a, a luminary in the field. So the alumni from our program go into all walks of life. Many of them do an academic postdoc and then go on to have a faculty position at another institution. Some alumni are primarily engaged in teaching at teaching institutions. Others go into government, whether that's at the National Institute of Health or the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, or the Food and Drug Administration. One of my students is now working at the FDA on approval of devices for diagnosing infectious disease. And then many students uh, go on and work in, in pharma or in other um, uh, other types of companies. I, I would say the strength of the department is its diversity. I don't think there's any one thing you can point to. It's not just about the science and it's not just about the training. It's the combination of those two.